Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today I want to discuss a couple of patterns that were made on AMD in a recording that I did yesterday. And this is just a snippet of that recording. It's an upward channel with a triple top that didn't break out and pulled back. And it was Friday and we've had a couple wonderful weeks of trading and it was time to take a little money off the table and start a new week Monday. So let's go right into we're going to be talking about AMD. I think they're way in advance of other chip makers right now, including Intel, which is probably about two years behind AMD. So I'm still looking for a bullish pattern in AMD, and I'm going to stick you right to the video. And, and this is a recording that I made yesterday, and we're just going to enlarge it right here and play this baby. So just kind of sit back and listen, and I'll talk about this channel. But this is a, um, this is a, a pattern that I saw on on a, and I'm looking at Thursday, and this kept a lot of people into the trade until we double topped at the end of the day, and I did it on one simple line. One simple line gave me the supports that I needed for this trade, and I'm going to point them out to you right now. And this is something that you need to keep in. This happens. This pattern happens on all breakout stocks. That have a continuation and I'm going down here to the bottom wick and I'm going to run it up all the way up and I think I got it off the second candle right here no it was it, it wasn't this it was, it was uh, let me get rid of this it was this area right in here I'm going to run this all the way up. I'm going to extend this out to the right. Now, every day, every time it's pulled back to this trend line, it bounced up. Every time. And I got that off the second pullback when it had the hard sell off. And that was a pretty steep little sell off. But I always talk about this in the room, and it makes it the wonders of difference when you're stuck in a trade or you take your eye off of a trade and it always pulls back to that trend line. We had that high there. We had that there. We had that there. It kind of found respect right here. It happened again right here. Then once it started to fail that trend line, that was the time to exit the trade. And this was on Thursday. Unless you still thought it could continue. Wait, can continue. But look at the five day. I want you to look at the five day. Look how we started five days ago. Down here at 77 bucks. This is when the fat cats started to short the stock. Okay? Because it was overextended. Sometimes they get caught in the frame of mind that any stock that is overextended is going to pull back. It's true. They do pull back. But maybe they got in at the wrong time. And they got stuck. So they come back in and they try to do it again because it's overextended. But the momentum on this stock was a catalyst because uh, what, INTC, Intel, is having issues with putting out a chip. So this gave the market makers to think about AMD being a great trade. So then here we are with a double top, and then what do we see? We see a triple top, okay? Now what have I said about triple tops? They fail. 99% of the time they fail. And they'll pull back. So when you see a triple top, and this chart is telling all kinds of stories. When you see a triple top, try to find that support level. That support level was right in here from that previous engulfing breakout that we had. It was right there. So I'm still bullish on AMD. I got a target for $95 on the AMD. But this is just something to think about when you're drawing them trend lines. And this, this look at where this, this come from. Let me pull a 20 day. Look where this come from. This is an upward wet, upward channel. It come from this support right here to right here. The continuation continued. It continued. 
it fell back and it hit that trend. You see, but then we run into a triple top. A triple top. Now we've got us a little, maybe a, a fish hook pattern for retracement back up to this trend line to maybe get back into the resistance channel. Or it can fail and pull back to the 200, back to this support area in here. And actually, I'm going to draw a trend line right here. Now that I see this, and I've got this all boogie down. But I'm constantly using these trend lines for resistance and support levels. Resistance level. See? When you're, every chart tells a story. Resistance level. Resistance level. Resistance level. Resistance level. And then finally it formed a triple top. Support level. Support level. Failed support right here, but that was pre-market. Vegas and other people in the room, Bass Cat, they don't, they don't care what happens in these periods. I kind of do because I like to see it show respect and consolidate. So I, you know, I play, I, I pay attention to after hours and morning, but a lot of traders that trade options, they don't care because it doesn't mean nothing to them when they're in the stock. But here we are again, you know, support level, consolidated and it broke out. Support level, resistance level, right up here, off the bottom of this trend line once it failed. And once it failed that triple top and it got out of the trend of the upper wedge, this, this chart alone should tell you a lot. It pulled back. So we got a support right down in this area right in here. I like to see hold and bring it back up to there. Now, there's still going to be some bears wanting to bring it back to this lower support of 79.92. Okay? So if it gets... If it pulls back to the 79.92, I'm all I'm all over it. I'm eighty dollars. I'll be in this trade. I guarantee it. And then also, you know, when I'm looking at the daily one minute, I'm playing it off. I'm, I'm using this 200, and I'm using these moving averages, which is telling me if the stock's bearish or bullish. And let's erase this. Get remove this drawing. As you can tell, we were pretty much starting to cross each other right up in here but once that nine failed the pullback and it never could break a break above that 200 so i'm using this 200 as a resistance level i'm constantly and then i'm using it also to maybe if it decides to break out like it did here you know i'm saying okay now we're starting to consolidate and that 200's become a pivot point into that break into that breakout that 200 is a pivot point into that breakout and once it cleared the double top she decided to move on up so this was a nice call after the sell-off on friday but it's always just something to to keep in mind that pattern on this chart was just magnificent for the all week long if you know how to read charts well, there it goes. You've seen how AMD ran. It was just a beautiful little trade. And if you want to, please follow and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Vegas is posting alerts all the time. And also we have a, uh, oh, where are we here? And I would just go ahead and call it, I'll call it a day here. But always remember, I'm bullish on AMD. And always remember them channels that go up and always remember those triple tops, chart patterns, candlestick patterns, you know, looking for reversals are, are essential to becoming a great trader on technical analysis. And I wish everybody a great day and always remember, we love stocks. Oh, plus, I want to pull up the little website here. Follow us on Twitter. Hit that follow button. Miss Vegas is posting alerts in here all the time. I'm posting my little sessions in here also. And also on our website, we have links to our stock twits. Hit that follow button. 
follow us on here. We're posting alerts in here all the time. Miss Vegas has one also. It's right up here. Hit that button. She's posting alerts in here on a daily basis. And also, if you feel free, sign up to our uh, watch list email right up here. And make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button to our YouTube channel. And I wish everybody a great coming week this week. AMD, how to identify patterns, and know when to exit a trade. I love stocks.